Nobody can remember when I learnt to swim. It was one of those I just hopped in water and did and have continued ever since. Uh, as I've gotten older and had more opportunities, I've taken to the river with social sporting, with water skiing, wakeboarding, on the lake, on the river, more recently jet skiing, ski racing and anything I can do on the water. My own adventure was last year on the jet ski. I've been on the river, I'm aware of what it's like and how cold it is, currents, things like that. And in endeavouring to untie a race boat that had stopped working during a race from a snag, actually got pulled off the jet ski and down the side of the boat. I came off my jet ski on the lake numerous times and you come off the jet ski and you hop back on. When I came off the jet ski on the river, the difference was when I came off the jet ski, it wasn't there when I came back up. So it had actually been carried down the river and had to find where the jet ski actually ended. So your ability to just jump back on and go again is not the same on the river. The lake is completely different to the river and the currents and the snags and, and what may happen on the river. I think people see that they've spent time on the lake and the water's going to be the same. They think water is water. It's beautiful to look at, but what's under the surface, the currents, the incredibly, incredibly cold water that there is, the snags and whatever other bits and pieces that you aren't aware of, it's all hidden and masked by the scenery. The Murray River has claimed more lives than it ever should because people don't realise what is below the surface. I can't explain the difference that it made for me. I understood the river, but to realise that it can happen so quickly and so fast without any warning certainly put a new level of respect for the river in place for me.